complex. Um, you know, so what you're talking about is isolating, you know, different sounds and, and going from that route. Now, we do that, um, you know, like when I try to, you know, teach the R sound like er and TH and these other sounds. Um, and, uh, you know, and I do that the same with vowels like E and ah and these other vowel sounds. Um, what what comes up is, you know, like somebody like me, if I listen to you, like Bezo, if I listen to you speak, I could listen to you yes. say a few phrases or sentences and, you know, really focus on your voice and make a few notes and say, okay, this is what I got. Um, this vowel, you're not stretching long enough. That's why it sounds strange, you know, because I have experience with this. Um, I kind of know what to say about it. I know what's going wrong with it. Um, this, exactly. this vowel is just wrong completely. You're going, ooh, and it should be ah. You know, I could say yes. something like that. So the yes. thing is, every, now everybody is different. Um, what's, you know, makes it challenging for me because I deal with people from all over the world and they have all different kinds of accents. You know, it's not just one. You know, if I was dealing with just one country, one people, one language learning English, it would be very different. So the thing is, um, you know, what happens, it, you know, getting back to your point about vowels is, uh, yeah, it helps if you, you know, uh, have somebody like me and you ask questions about it and it's we have exactly. a back and forth because then I can jump on it very precisely like a surgeon and say, that's it right there, okay? And yeah. that can be very helpful to you you got to make note of it. In my opinion, you got to write it down, and then you got to, you know, get some like notes and put them all around where you live and things like that to remind your brain. And you'll okay. start stretching like the ah sound. So instead of saying uh, you'll start saying ah in certain words. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you're going to yeah, see the note. You're going to see it everywhere. You're going to keep reminding of it, and then. And you'll, you'll laugh at it, you know, you'll be talking to somebody and you'll catch yourself in the back of your mind will be like, oh, you just missed it, you just said it wrong. And you'll almost laugh at yourself and then whoever you're talking to will be like, why are you laughing? And it's because our brains are complex. You can think about two things at once or even kind of like three things at once can be going on in our brains. So, you know, th this is what needs to happen, um, and this is why pronunciation is so difficult, because even if you took a class, let's say we all were in a classroom, we all were in the same city, and you came to my class, okay, yeah. so, you know, the class meets, I don't know, maybe two or three times a week, you know, and if there are 30 students in the class or 20 students, you know, how much, you know, how how much time can I go with each student and that sort of thing, so it's like, okay, you got to be your own coach and work with me too and help me to help you by asking me yes. questions and, exactly. uh, and being aware of yourself. And if you're not sure of right. a certain sound, all you got to do is say, hey, what about when I say this word? David, what about when I say this phrase? And I can just, I can tell you very quickly. But the thing is, if you keep asking me the same question, that means that there's something wrong with your method because you're not writing it down. You're not putting it yes. in a way that you can actively, you know, be reminded of that so that your brain will make the change, so that your brain will become comfortable with the new way. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, people are talking about alarms. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so motivated. They got up so early. I can't believe. Oh, that's right. Now, I see Nina's here. Um, Nina, do you want to be in on the Skype? Uh, I don't think you're in on the Skype. If you want to come in and talk. In 20 minutes. What's that? In 20 minutes? Because we're going to wrap up in 20 minutes uh, or less. Um, I'm just wondering, is anybody in the chat room wanting to come into the Skype conversation? Because Nina. who does? Just Nina, stay. Nina is not here yet. Uh, I don't see Nina in Skype, so maybe she's. But she said she's there. She, I didn't see her too, but she said she's there. 
Well, Nina, you got to be green. Are you green, Nina? Uh, because if you're not green, I won't see you so easily. And I don't even know if I can add you if you're not green. I you think green, you can Nina? try. She will be green after you add her. Yeah, well, she should be green before. <laughs> this sounds funny. She will be green yeah, after you add I'm her. Green. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she says I'm green. Uh, oh, you're green I'm already. Green. How come I don't see? Oh, there you are. Oh, you know, Nina, I'm looking for. I'm looking for Nina, and you're Nagora. She, she got up at four o'clock in the morning to get participate. I in know. Your that's platform. so nice. I'm calling her right yeah. now. Good. I know that that is that is so great, and I I like Nina so much. I mean. She's she's really a great part of the group, and uh, I'm calling uh, Nina. I'm calling you right now. Are you in, Nina? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, good morning, oh, oh. Nina. We're I'm so sorry to wake you up so early. <laughs> <laughs> I feel terrible. <laughs> But I'm so glad you can join us. I'm glad too, but I am just overslept and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, uh, I wish I wish we didn't have this problem of time difference uh, because it is very frustrating. And I will be, you know, in the hopefully in the near future, start having these uh, calls at different times so people in different time zones can, you know, can be more comfortable for them. Um, so, um, let's see. Now I lost track. What we were talking about um, before, what were we talking about, Olga? You were there in the oh, We're talking about different problems, what people have, what kind of problems. Oh, people. yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bezo was talking about questions. bowels. Yeah. Bowels. Right, yeah, bowels. right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, okay, you know, uh, and then back to, you know, and what Lydia was saying too, you, like she, she was, you know, it, it, it is an idea of immersion and different ways you can immerse yourself in your language, but again, it's like I, I want to inspire you to motivate yourself to take action and when you watch a movie to press pause and try to imitate some of the native speakers. And you've got to be able to know what is a native speaker and what is, you know, the accent. Of course, a lot of the American movies, most of them are speaking like a native speaker. But I don't want you necessarily talking with a Brooklyn accent or, you know, like, hey, how you doing? What's what you going on? You know, I don't want you to get confused and, and that sort of thing. But... Thank this is you. this is something you can do. Even like like my videos when I'm just talking about whatever, you don't even have to pay attention to the pronunciation point. You can hear me say a phrase and just pause it and try to imitate my intonation, you know, my rhythm. And if you if you work on maybe that, you know, like maybe two phrases in one week and you just concentrate on two phrases, your mind will start to get used to this new thing. You know, it's like, it just takes some time, but you have to keep exposing it. Like playing the piano, like, you know, somebody who's riding a motorcycle for the first time. When you first get on the motorcycle, it feels strange. The first time you ride it, it feels scary. Like a lot of people feel scared they're going to crash. Okay? It doesn't happen yeah. right away. You have to start slowly, expose yourself to the motorcycle, go a little bit more each time, pay attention to what's going on. Oh, how is my balance? Um, how is my hand? Am I gripping too tightly? It's the same thing with language. Am I speaking it too fast? Am I speaking it too slow? Am I stretching this word? How are you today? Or how are you today? You know, I, th I think that the English is more complicated just to than um, compared to learning any other skill. It's more complicated for some reason. Well, it is complicated. Yeah, I agree. It's much more complicated. Well, I, I mean, it why. depends on what but you're comparing it to. Like maybe compared to a motorcycle, yes. <laughs> okay, motorcycle, computer program, I can learn anything. I can learn, and I I don't know that. But with language. It's a different. Right. 
And then we have to recognize there are some people in this world who can pick up languages very fast and they get so confused when it comes to computers. You know, and that, that think it depends on personality. Well, yeah, the brain. It's difference in brain, how the brain works, you know, and uh, all of our brains work a little differently. And we have to recognize that. None of us are stupid. It has nothing, I, I just, you know, I hate it when people say, oh, you're not smart enough. It's not that. We are all different. We have to recognize our brains are different. And so for some people in, to learn language, it, it could be easier. Yes. There are yes. people. There are people who in this world. Who learn it faster. Yes, exactly. But that does not so, mean that you're any smarter or you know, less smart than that person. It just so means... So what part of their brain is different? Well, you know, that's what we're learning in brain science. I mean, we're, it's very interesting. In the last five years or so, a lot of interesting studies have been done, and we're learning more and more about the brain. We're learning about certain areas of the brain in more depth than we knew before. We're still at the very beginning. I mean, we really know very little about the brain, but we are learning more. And this little bit of information that we've been getting recently, you know, is telling us things, and it's telling us things like, I mean, this is going to sound strange to a lot of you, but, you know, what you eat has a lot to do with how well your brain is going to work for language development. And if, if I'm trying to study a language and I ate a lot of simple carbohydrates and sugary stuff, my brain isn't going to work very well. And I'm going to have a harder time learning that piece of education. Um, really? I didn't know that. Yes, absolutely. And if yeah, I what do you eat? What do you eat? I have yeah. no idea. No, I just, <laughs> 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 uh, well, I just opened a restaurant, so I'll sell you the. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, what what your brain needs for brain power is protein, of course, lean protein, and complex carbohydrates are good for the brain. So protein and complex carbohydrates are very good for the brain. And they help you to think. And, you know, that's a good place to start. And, you know, you know I learned all this in the last few years um, based on my research and this sort of thing. Now, some of this stuff has been out for a long time. I was just never aware of it. Like when I was in college, you know, I would eat a lot of simple carbohydrates. I, I didn't know better. And my brain was not so focused in a lot of my classes because of that. But, you know, if I knew better, I would have eaten more protein and uh, complex carbohydrates and I would have been able to focus better. And it's something that, you know, we do know about. So, uh, what yeah. is it? Sorry, Dave. Yeah. What is the complex carbohydrates? <laughs> Complex, Complex carbohydrates. They're very sophisticated carbohydrates. <laughs> very educated. <laughs> uh, a complex carb, um, like a simple carb is like, um, like a potato, um, complex carbohydrate. Oh, here's a good comparison. White rice and brown rice. Brown rice is complex. White rice is a simple carbohydrate. Okay. Um, you know, uh, a lot of the dark green vegetables, complex carbohydrates. If you Google it, you'll find, you know, everything you want to know about what is a complex carbohydrate and what is not. Like bread, white bread or a whole grain bread. Complex, simple. But, you know, if you, if, if you really want to, it won't even take you much time. If you Google complex carbohydrates, you'll, you'll find tons of stuff. It'll take one minute and you'll, you'll see what it is. Now, now we have to sacrifice food for my English. Well, no, but... Favorite the, food. <laughs> no, no, well, it's not like you have to give up anything that you may enjoy. It's just that, look, if you want your brain to work at its, at its best optimal, um, you know, capacity, well, you create a good environment. Like, you know, some people cannot concentrate well if there's a lot of noise around them. Like if there's uh, yes. people talking and all this sort of thing, and then there's somebody teaching something, you know, a few feet from them, they have a hard time focusing. So the environment is better if they're in a quiet place 
where that person is being taught. And it's, that's an that's environment, right. right? Now, everybody works in, right. in, in different environments. You know, some people like a little noise. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and the food is part of the environment. So it's like, well, if you're going to study something that you need to absorb in your brain, well, maybe before you kind of do some work on that, you know, you know make sure you, you have some protein and some, uh, you know, complex carbohydrates instead of a bunch of simple carbs. And it, you're creating a better environment for yourself, you know? Uh, they're not so tasty that complex carbohydrates. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's not the, the, the sweet foods and, you know, yeah, they're the more boring foods, like broccoli, you know? <laughs> So, boy. you know, yeah, well, you know, that's true. It doesn't have to, I'm just, you know, saying like some people don't like broccoli. I, you know, I like broccoli and, you know, you can, you can get yourself enthusiastic about these complex carbohydrates and you can go online and you can find great recipes where it will taste delicious. So, you know, you, you can make anything that uh, maybe you don't like now, you, you might uh, be able to change your taste mm -hmm. and enjoy it a lot. Anna. I'm joking. I like complex. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I was yeah, kidding, and I, but I know yeah. some people don't like it. I, oh some yeah. Some people don't like brown bread, and some people don't like yeah. brown rice. Oh yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, right. But it's a bit yeah. fast food. You know, the thing to, is, yeah, it has a lot to do. Softer, softer, and. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the texture is different. Yeah, a lot of there's a lot of differences, and people don't like it. But it's creating an environment, and it's about getting to know yourself and what works. And uh, it's not that hard. Everybody can do it. We're all capable of doing this stuff. It's just like, ooh, can we motor motivate ourselves to do that? Uh, so we are using all of our brain. What are, we're talking in the chat room. I'm seeing here. Oh, now I'm making uh, Barang uh, hungry, I see. I'm sorry about that, Barang. We're talking about food, and now he's hungry. <laughs> Four per six. Or, yeah. Um, well, yeah, there's different theories about how much of the brain that we use. And there's really, you know, we're really not at the stage where we really know the answer to, to that. You know, we, there, there are scientists, a lot of different scientists who have different speculations about that. And... Uh, you know, I, I just wonder how do they measure it. Well, that's the thing. They have different. Well, <laughs> some, some is theoretical. <laughs> well, some is theoretical. The thing is, we, like we can do brain scans today, and we can see different things going on in the brain. But we cannot definitively say that you know that this brain part is being active and it is causing A, B, and C to happen right now. Now, certain things they can do, like. You know, they know like what part of the brain has to do with language and this, but we're at a very general place with that still. And we're, you know, we're learning more and more every day. Yeah, different spots in the brain. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting as we progress and maybe in our lifetimes we will learn a lot more about the human brain and that may change our lives dramatically. Um, but... I, I can say one thing about the food thing. When I when okay. I changed my diet, I noticed a big difference, and okay. that happened in my life. So when did you change your diet, Dave? Ah, uh, let's see. <laughs> I was, we we noticed the difference, or not? Did you <laughs> change? <laughs> um, I I guess I started changing the diet uh, maybe about two years ago in terms of brain. You know, in terms of knowledge about the brain and how food affects the brain, uh, about two years ago. So no more pizza. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. It's no. Remember, it's not that I don't have those foods. It's not like I. It's but it's like okay, if I have to do some like if I go to work and I need to be sharp, I know what kind of breakfast I need to have. But if it's on the weekend and I'm relaxing more. I can eat other foods. You know what I'm saying? It's just I'm aware of it. If I need to do something where I really need to focus, I know what I need to eat before. And I will do that. Whereas before, you know, before I knew about all this, I didn't do it. I would just eat whatever, you know? Okay. Right. All right. Okay. Wow, so we got off on this uh, subject. 
Um, pizza is great if you make it yourself. Okay, Brian, that's great. <laughs> okay, some people were asking about pronunciation, and I think earlier somebody was asking how to pronounce the word vowel. Vowel is a V sound, so the bottom lip is under the front teeth. So it's v, it's a voiced sound. V, v, v. It's vow. Vow. Wow. I, I'm exaggerating. Vow. And then ul. Ul. Vow. Vow. So, you know what I'm saying about the vibration with the lip under the, uh, under the teeth? Can everyone do that? The vibration? V. It's, it's different than just blowing the air out, because blowing the air out would be the F sound, which is uh, like fa fa, but I'm vibrating it, so it's I can feel my lip vibrate. Sometimes people have a hard time uh, doing that. So it's va. I'm opening my mouth. Vow. 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 Well. Well. So I'm going from the well. Vow. Well. Okay. Well. Let, let's go around real quick and have everybody try to say that. Lucy, try to say vowel. Vowel. Oh, good. Vowel. Nice. Very nice. How about Shamil? Wow. That sounds good. Say it one more time. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds surprisingly native-like. So that was very good. Um, uh, Julio. Vowel. Uh, try it again. Vowel. Oh, good. That was nice. Uh, how about Lydia? Vowel. Vowel. Sorry, it's really difficult for me. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Try it again. Vowel. Okay. I think, you know, it's sounding pretty good. It's sounding pretty good. I mean, your the microphone is not so clear, so it's a little difficult for me, but it's it's sounding pretty good. Vowel. Just make sure you get that lip under the teeth. I know, um, uh, you know, for some people, whatever your, you know, native language is, that you're not used to doing that. So it can feel very awkward, you know, going like this. V -v -v vowel. And sometimes a lot of people don't hit the L strong enough, so they say vowel, vowel, vowel. And it's, they're, they're not making the L sound. The tongue has to be behind the teeth. Is this a dark L? Oh, oh, oh. Vowel. Yeah, it's an L. Vowel. You know, there, there are people who say that there is dark L and normal L. What kind of L is this in this world? <laughs> what kind of L? It, I, I'm not really sure what you said there. There's what kind of L? L, letter L. Yeah, that's, that's the sound we're making. This is an L sound at the end of the word, so it has a little stronger resonance. Like, you've got to really stick that tongue into it because it's at the end of the word. It's not like I'm saying later I'm going to go because I can make the L sound a little lighter because the L sound is at the beginning of the word. This L is at the end of the word, vowel. And if I don't hit it with some strength, then it sounds like vowel, vowel. And then I sound like I don't know, you know, the language very well. So at the end of the word, the word, if you, if, if there is another L, uh, it's going to be lighter, we have to pronounce as a softer. No, usually when it's at the end of the word, it's a little stronger. Okay. Yeah. Vowel. Thank you. Have to put that tongue in the right position. Okay. Uh, let's hear Oksana. Did. Oh, okay. Vowel. Did me ask. Vowel. Uh, okay. One second, uh, Nina. Let's do do Oksana, and then I'll I'll get to you. Um. Go go ahead again, Oksana. Vowel. Wow. Um. Yes. Too fast. <laughs> yeah, too fast. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
one more time. Vowel. Oh, that sounded good. I heard it that time pretty clear. I heard the V and I heard a nice L in there, so that was pretty good. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, Nina, what, what, what's your question? Nina? Uh, Dave, I, I, Dave. Yes. Hello. Hello. I'd like to ask how to pronounce correctly vowel l, l, l. Um, I'm not, what are you, are you saying the L sound in l vowel? You show the position of the tip of the tongue on the... The L sound in vowel? Yes, behind the teeth. Yeah. Behind the teeth. Behind the teeth. The tongue is, the tip of the tongue, I'll try to zoom in here, the tip of the tongue is right behind the front teeth. It's touching the very front of the alveolar ridge, okay? So it's not back, it's uh, right behind the tip. So if, let's see, if these are the teeth, the tip of the tongue is right behind the teeth like this. The tip is like, boom, yes, right there. Yes, it's, it's just... It oh, oh, vowel, oh, oh. So like, when I'm speaking normally, if you were seeing it in slow motion, my tongue would be going up like this. Oh, vowel, oh, and see, I'm pushing. I'm really, I'm putting some pressure into that tongue. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Because if I go like too lightly, vowel, 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 it won't make the sound. But if I push the tongue in more, vowel. You know, I'm really exposing my tongue. Does that make sense, Nina? Yes, sure. I uh, I do understand that, but it is absolutely different in British English. Okay, hold on. Yes. Um, hold on one second, Olga. I'm getting lots of noise from you. Yeah. Olga. Uh, just timing. Okay, I just gotta cut her out. Okay, it is, I'm sorry. It is much. It is much closer to Russian U behind the teeth. So it's, it's, you're saying it's close to a Russian sound? Yes, Russian L is pronounced behind the teeth also. Oh, okay. Like, is there a word you can give as an example in Russian? Lampa. Lampa L behind the teeth. Okay. But in British English, L is pronounced on alveolas, not behind the teeth, and it differs. But in American English is pronounced like L behind the teeth, and it is much closer to Russian sound L. Oh, okay. Oh, that's great to know. Okay, so um, especially for our Russian, uh, you know, students here that that can be a good thing to know and I uh, so so in that Russian sound you lean into it with your tongue you press your tongue like uh, 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 vowel vowel yes just just the same vowel. yeah mm -hmm. I see mm -hmm. okay vowel. the same with the sound s I guess s uh, what sound is that? S. S. S? S, yes. Okay. S. In the same position as, like in American English, so S, Russian, and S, American. Oh, I see. This is another sound. Like the same. Oh, okay. I see. Another sound that is the same in Russian. Okay. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, re I mean, that's really helpful stuff, you know, for, you know, the Russian speakers, you know, and, you know, if we always had that kind of um, connection, you know, from the different languages, that's, that information's always so helpful. Okay, uh, let's just keep going around, make sure everyone gets a chance here. Um, 
Let's see who hasn't gone. See, my names keep moving around on my Skype. So let's try Bezo next. You say okay. vowel. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Say vowel. 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 Oh, yeah, that's good. You're hitting the sounds. I can really hear your mouth moving and you're hitting the sounds. So that's really good. Uh, let's see. Who hasn't gone? Uh, Steve, why don't you try? Uh, I can barely hear you, Steve. <laughs> I know you were having microphone problems. Oh. Well, we're, n we're not hearing you uh, right now. Let's see. Well, let maybe I can come back to you. Uh, who else? How about Barang? Did you go? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. No. Uh, try to hit your V a little stronger. V, V. Okay. Vowel. Okay. Vowel. That's, yeah, that's better. Make sure you get your, you know, lip under your front teeth for that first sound. Vowel. Vowel. Yeah, much better. And can you hit your L a little more like O, O, O? Vowel. I'm getting, you know, hungry, so I'm trying <laughs> Well, I have excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good excuse. We were talking about food way too much. <laughs> See, you're very smart, you know. You're using a little uh, little humor here to distract me. Very good. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. It's the thing I'm doing for my English, just, you know. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. You're making it entertaining, and that's what we all need, so I like that. <laughs> good. Okay, and how about uh, Arena? You want to try? Okay, I will try. Uh, wow. Okay, yeah, we need to work on that a little bit. Try, try to hit that V a little stronger with the lip under the teeth. Vowel. Vowel. Oh, that's better. It seems like your tongue is a little uncomfortable with that L. Um, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, <laughs> Cody. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm just saying, okay, you know, uh, if it's uncomfortable, just uh, realize that and, you know, keep practicing it. Your tongue will get stronger. And, I will. I will. Okay, very good. Very good. And let's see, who else hasn't gone? Um... Anybody else hasn't gone yet? Because I'm a little confused because the names have switched around. Everyone's gone? Hello? 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 Is that, who's that? Steve? Oh, Steve. Yeah, go ahead, Steve. Try to speak a little loudly. Okay. Bow. Okay, again? Bow. Again? Bow. Oh, not bad. Not bad. I'm hearing, oh. I can hear you. Um... I don't know if it's the, you know, the Skype connection or if it's you, but the L maybe can be a little stronger, vowel, -ol -ol. if you push that tongue in behind your teeth, vowel, 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 can you see my tongue, do you see me in the video? Oh. Yeah. Okay, so it sounds like your sound is a little rounded. And I just want it to be kind of up and down with the tongue. Oh, oh, vowel, vowel, vowel. Okay. Vowel. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty good, pretty good. The thing. Okay, let me just tell you one thing. When you hit that W sound in vowel, you go vow. I'm gonna freeze there. And instead of opening up in a circle, I want you to try to go straight to a open mouth like this. You know, like, ooh, ooh. Instead of going vow, like opening up a circle, go vow, ooh, vow, ooh. Just that tongue like a rocket just goes straight up to your teeth real fast, like vow, ooh. You know, almost like you're punching something. Vow, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, 
Keep on, keep on working on that L sound to just try to make it a little sharper. Okay, uh, what else is, yeah, I know, um, the microphone wasn't so good. Let's see, um, what, what else were we asking? There were some other questions in the uh, chat. Uh, get to world, oh yeah, girl. Word, yeah, these are common, like R, <laughs> R ones. Uh, world, world is hard. We we've, we've gone over that before. Um, let's see, how about world and girl pronunciations? Okay, let's look at girl because uh, that's a little different. <coughs> gur, gur. So g g g. Back of the tongue is touching the back of the hard palate, so it's in the back of the mouth. G g. Got, we're starting with that sound. I'm saying g. I'm adding a vowel just so I can show that beginning sound. It's g, 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 g. back gur 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 gur. So I'm going g and then er gur gur. Look how I'm pushing my lips out to make that oh. er sound. Now the r sound is in the middle of the word, so you know it's a little different. Yeah, you know. All different colors of that same sound. Not that big of a deal. Grr. See my lips? Grr. Grr. Okay. Grr, grr, grr. And then, and then we slide into the just the old. Oh, kind of like I was just telling Steve. It's like a punch. The tongue goes straight up to that L sound. So it's girl. And it's a little awkward because you got er and then ol. Oh, and the mouth position changes. Girl. Girl, I'm kind of, I'm exaggerating it for you know teaching purposes. If I say it naturally, I'm saying, hey, look at that girl. You know, I, I made that R sound quick, and then I went right into the L. Girl, girl, but girl, girl. That's a place where we can start if we're having trouble making that sound. Girl. So anyone want to try that? With me? Girl. Okay. Julio. Okay, Julio, go for it. Girl. Okay, again. Girl. Uh, try it again. Girl. Girl. I need more L, I think. Um, okay. Girl. There you go. Much better. And let's just put it in a phrase. Um, uh, that girl there, uh, that one, just, the tall girl, okay, the tall girl, say that phrase, uh, Julio, the tall girl, yeah, yeah, um, your, your L is better now, uh, so that's sounding good. The tall girl. We just got to get that tongue at the end going up here. Oh, oh, oh. the tall girl. Uh, the tall girl. Yeah, right. Okay, someone else want to try? Barang? Yeah, Barang. Go for it. Girl. Girl. Okay, somebody, is that Lydia? I'm hearing like a printer in the background or something. I think it might be Lydia, so um, if you could try to do something about that, that would be great. Sorry. Okay. Um, okay, Bahrain, go go ahead again. Yeah. Go. Oh, nice. Nice nice and slow. I'm hearing the sounds. Um, now try to say it in the phrase, um, that tall girl. Oh. That tall girl. 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 That tall girl. Girl. Grr. Can you say grr, grr, grr? Grr, 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 like that? Grr. Grr, grr, grr. Yeah, just real sharp sound. Grr. Grr. Cause you're, when you go from the er to the l, you're rounding it a little bit. So it's girl, girl. Don't go girl, you know, girl. My mouth is kind of tight. Girl. Girl. A girl. girl. <laughs> okay. 
What's going on here? Uh, time with the it's well. What's happened? There's some kind of rounding sound going on in your mouth. I mean, look, you're saying it pretty well. You know, I'm just trying to get you even closer to the mark. So, grr is my mouth is almost closed. Er, I'm making that er sound. Grr, oh, try that. Okay, Lydia, we're getting noise. I can't. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Oh, one more time, Brian. Sorry. Oh, okay. Girl. Girl. Okay, you're breaking it up into two, you know, syllables, which is good. Like girl. girl. Try to say it a little faster. Girl. Girl. Okay. A smart girl. A smart girl. Yeah. There you go. That that's not bad. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Uh, anyone else want to try that? Shamil. Yeah, Shamil, go for it. Girl. Oh, very nice. May I? Yes. Oh well, Shamil, that was really good. You know, the, the one you said before and this one sounds really native. Like, I'd like to hear what you sound like in a conversation when you're not thinking about it so much, because you're doing really good right now, which is great to hear. Uh, I'm just watching too much. You're watching you know, uh, too TV, much. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's helping because you're you're doing a very nice job. Uh, it's good stuff, man. Okay, um, let's have uh, Nina go for it. Nina, do you want to try? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Go. Go. Girl. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, it sounds good. Say, let's say it in a phrase, um, that, girl. that tall girl. Girl, that tall girl. girl. That tall girl. Oh, yeah, that was nice. That tall girl. Girl, yeah. Um, let's try another phrase. Um, girl, girl. That girl goes next. That girl goes next. Try that. Uh, Nina? That girl goes next. Oh yeah. No, that's good. That's very good. I just wanted to put girl in a different spot in the sentence. That so. girl goes next. Yeah. No, it's very good. Very good. Anybody else uh, want to try girl? Girl. Bezo. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll do uh, Bezo, then Lucy. So, Bezo, go ahead. Okay. That girl goes next. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Try it again. That girl goes next. Okay, uh, let's do girl singular. So, just girl. It uh, sounded like you said okay. girls. So, that girl goes next. That girl goes next. Yeah, I mean, it's very, very good. Um, the, the thing I would say about girl, you know, if we wanted to make it a little sharper, is just that grr, kind of like I was telling uh, Barang earlier. Uh, grr, 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 because you're, you're, you know, I know you're working on the R sound. So, I mean, it, you know, the, it always comes back to the R. You know, the R isn't quite so sharp, so your R is a little rounded, so it's sounding like, guh, you know, instead of girl, girl. That girl goes go, next. Go, go. Yeah, it's more like you're saying go. Girl. Go. Go. Girl. Like a, like, a, like a dog that's growling, you know, a dog goes grr, and the teeth are really close together. If you look at the video right now. It's like I'm, this is a way sometimes to find a sound um, is through animals. It may sound silly to some people, but it, it can be a great technique for getting to sounds. And uh, we got like my teeth are pretty close together and I'm going grr, grr, grr. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm trying to kind of you know, think of like a wolf or a dog that's growling and going grrr. It's a more of a sharp sound. It's not so open and round. So I'm saying girl, girl. Try that. 
girl. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. Try that grr. That's sounding better, Bezo. Uh, just try grr, grr, grr. Girl. No, no, no. Don't, don't say girl. No L. No L. Just pretend like you're a growling dog. It's like grr, grr. Just try that one sound. Grr. Go, go, Grr. Yeah, it's the it's it's the R. We just need to keep working on the R because we need to make it sharper. Okay. But you're it's still very good. I mean, very good. It's just not you know perfect North American R sound. Uh, and then Lucy, you wanted to try. Girl, girl. Okay, the second one was better. The first one sounded you know it had the French influence. The second one was much sharper and nicer. Girl. Girl. Yes, that was nice, Lucy. That Thank one you. was good. Very nice. Uh, so we're making some progress. Uh, nice to hear that. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's see. Where are we on time? We're at. Wow. I'm trying. To, it's like nine twenty. So it's uh, two hours twenty minutes. Okay, we need to wrap this up. Um, any final questions before we say goodbye tonight or this morning to some of you? <laughs> Anyone want to ask me a question about something uh, that's kind of important to you before we go, before we say goodbye? Uh, can you just, uh, okay, well, will you just take them one at a time? So who has a question? Say your name. Olivia. Oh, Olivia. Uh, who is that? Lydia. Oh, Lydia. Yes, Lydia. Go ahead. Please give me a hand with the word double. Okay. Double? Yeah. Okay. How, how must be my thumb? Okay. Well, thumb. Okay. I'm just having a hard time hearing you because like, your breath is getting on your microphone. Try, try, try to say the word again without so much air getting on your microphone. Go ahead, Lydia. And I'm hearing somebody Skype. I keep hearing these Skype chirps, like tweet, tweet. Whoever's doing that, um, I don't know if it's Lucy's or somebody's, but try to stop it. So it's someone else. I don't know. His name is is not with us. Oh, is is, is try it keeps uh, beeping you? You mean? Not me. He's just just talk, uh, chatting with someone. He was uh, talking with Fermin Olmedo. Oh, but I mean, somebody who we're talking to, who's on right now, I can hear their chirps coming through. That's that's all I'm saying. Um, okay, Lydia, Lydia, one more time. I couldn't hear you. No, you got to get louder. I can't hear you. Wow. I'm just hearing, I'm hearing breath. Yeah, Lydia, we got to do, you got to get like a oh USB gosh, headset please. because it's just really hard to hear you. I can barely hear you. <laughs> double. Okay, I heard better that time. Double, double. Um, it's, okay, one, one of the things I can say to help you with that sound is the vowel sound. So it's duh. Da. Uh, uh, da uh. Da bull. Uh. Kind of like da. If you can get that da, da sound and then think bull like the animal bull, B U L L, and just like D A, da. If you look at the video oh. in my mouth, you know, to get the, the vowel sound, da. 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 Da, da. 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 bull. Da, da bull. bull. Da. Okay, Double. try it, try it, uh, yeah, try it, Lydia. Double. Again? Double. <laughs> hearing someone else. <laughs> okay, try it again, Lydia. Try to get into that microphone, because I can barely hear you. Double. Okay, Double. Okay, yeah, now it's a matter of... Stress is affecting how it sounds. Um, so, 
well, okay, North American English, we stress the first syllable. So if you're looking at the da and the bull, we're going to stress da, and then bull, the second syllable, is going to be less strong, less stressed. So it's double. You know, it's not double, it's double. Yeah. Much Yeah. Double. Like, I... I'm very visual with, and, and kinesthetic, like my body. So like I'll, you know, if you look in the video, I'm holding my hand up and I go, double. And that helps me in two ways. I encourage all of my students to do this too and see if it helps you. Because I'm physically moving my hand, so it's connecting to my brain in a different way. And I'm also seeing my hand, so I'm seeing my hand go down, and I'm physically doing it. So I'm feeling it, and I'm doing it with my mouth. So those three things are going on. Those three things are hitting my brain as opposed to me just saying it. So I go like double. And that helps me to make sure that the first syllable is accented and the second is not. Okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions before we say goodbye? Okay, I have here a question. Yeah, Bezo. Yes. Uh, uh, when we are talking about to focus on one thing, you you mentioned the word mantra, or mantra. I don't know. That is my mantra. Oh, when mantra. Are, mantra. Okay, sir, mantra. Mm -hmm. Will you please? Um, uh, how do how do how is it being spelled? And uh, what does it mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I believe it's spelled M-A-N-T-R-A. And it's kind of like, uh, how do I explain mantra? It's like, you know, it's like, um, it's like something I believe in. It's almost like a, a, like, like a religious saying, you know, um, that, that, you know, is part of like who I am. Um, like, like maybe somebody's mantra can be freedom. We want freedom. You know, and and they're always you know, you know, yelling out freedom. So that's like a mantra. Yeah. But you know, so I'm bringing the mantra in. You know, into this idea of language learning and saying, yeah, make this your mantra. You know, make it part of what you want to yell out every day and get excited about it, bring enthusiasm to it, and then you'll make it happen for yourself. Is it like a motto? Okay, uh, David, I'm, I'm not, United States, same like meditation, same like yoga, same like uh, you uh, think about uh, God, about what you want, okay? The best for you and have all mood. All uh, your uh, emotional enthusiasm to this. Yeah. Right. Sure. Yeah. Right. 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 Um, but Abizo, you said, is it like something? And I didn't hear the word you said. The word motor. You mean motor? M O T O R. Yes. yes. M O W T O. Oh, motto. Um, motto. It's a. I mean, the meaning is different. Um, it, it, there, there are some similarities, like that's my motto. Uh, that, that's interesting that you know that word. Um, I don't think I've had a student ask about that word before. Um, that's my motto. It's like something that I say. So I could say, actually, yeah, it's kind of connected to that. Um, um, and mantra, it, you know, the definite, like if we looked them up in a dictionary right now, they, you know, they would have um, some differences in their meaning. Um, mantra is a little more, perhaps, uh, emotionally charged, spiritually charged, um, but it's similar. Okay? All right. Anybody else? Hello? Okay. <laughs> Everyone's shot for the next. And uh, what's about the work, hmm? work group? Okay, um, what's that, Bezo? Yeah, the uh, working group. Uh, how yeah, right, right, right. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, you know, things 
have been very busy. I need to work. I'm going to work on that this weekend and try to have something out by Monday or Tuesday of next week. So I'll okay. try to contact um, all of you by then and start getting the groups going uh, because that was something we talked about at our last um, broadcast and then the holidays came here at least here you know in the states and everything and uh, things uh, just you know got very busy and now we're getting back into the schedule again and uh, I should have something about that on Monday or Tuesday okay okay yes. all right and Steve did you have a question oh uh, maybe not Maybe he's not there? Yes. Oh, you do? Okay, what's your can you question? Can you hear me now, Patrick? Yes, I can hear you. Oh? Hello? Hello? Hello, I can hear you. Maybe you cannot hear me? <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a technical problem, I think, because the, the Skype and uh, the video sounds always have some delay. And uh, I'm not sure which one I should use. Should I use uh, when I turn off the Skype, yeah, I put in speak. When you turn off the Skype, you cannot speak? Yeah. But if I turn on the Skype, you also turn on your video. I can only, I heard, I heard two sounds. They are delayed. Well, yeah, the, the video is delayed. So the Skype is going to come through first. So, like, when you're talking to me, you should turn off the volume on your video. I'll turn on the video, but if I turn on the video, I cannot just see. No, 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 no. I turn down the volume on the video. Volume. volume. Yes. So my, uh, the sound I heard will be delayed. Like, let's say when you pronounce, you show the shape of the mouth, it's going to be a few seconds delay. That's right. Okay. And uh, so you think we actually get a better microphone? <laughs> yeah, I mean, something's really wrong, you know, with it's either your microphone or, you know, your connection. You could try updating Skype, you know, and see if that helps. But do you, do you have a USB headset? No, I didn't use that. Probably I'll, I can get one. Yeah, if you get one, it, that, that usually makes a big difference. Okay. Yeah, okay. Probably that, that's the next uh, thing I need to do. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it was, Ian, it was great, great having you um, and, and, and the other uh, new people tonight. Um, I enjoyed uh, having you in on this broadcast. And what Bezo was talking about is I'm going to start trying to put up uh, times for groups in similar time zones to get together to have more chances to speak English. So it's a great time. You'll, you'll form like a small group of maybe like three people and you'll meet on Skype at a certain time and you'll talk for a certain amount of time, maybe a half an hour. Maybe, you know, it depends on how much everyone has time. If you have an hour, great. But the point is, is that you just have more time to practice speaking English. And if you have any questions, you can write it down. And then when we speak next, I can help you with those uh, questions. And I might even join your groups, too, and jump in and listen to you and help you out with speaking and pronunciation. So um, that's what Bezo was talking about. And I'll have more information about that Monday or Tuesday of next week. OK? Great idea. Thank you. OK. All right. Forward to it. All right, very good. So thank you very much, everybody, for joining uh, this session, this uh, conference, if you will, of the English Meeting broadcast. And uh, I'm Dave Skanda. I'll look for you in the lessons. We're going to start a new lesson on Monday, lesson two. And um, I, uh, I look forward to you know working with you in that. And I'll be grading um, a lot of assignments from lesson one this weekend. So you should look for some grades in that. If you didn't finish your assignments for lesson one, Please try to get them finished because some of those assignments, if you don't have them finished, you cannot go on to lesson two. Okay, so you'll have some confusion and difficulty. All right, and as always, if you get stuck, just send me a message and I'll try to help you out. Okay, 
So okay. everybody, yeah. if it's Friday for you, have a good Friday night. If it's Saturday, have a great Saturday. Okay. And uh, okay. I look forward to talking with you soon, okay? Okay, thank you. Uh, all right. Good. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Bye. Very welcome. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you're welcome. you. All right. Bye-bye now. Okay, so I just closed out the Skype, and now I'm going to go to my video stream. And I see, ah, yeah, Furman was in the uh, was in the chat. So goodbye to Furman. And we had it looks like we had a few people in the chat who are not in the Skype. So Ilgar, I'm sorry we couldn't get you in. I'm not sure what happened, but I saw your message, Ilgar, and you said thank you. And so I, <laughs> you're welcome, and thank you for joining us. And same with Furman. Uh, he said, have a good weekend, and thank you. So I uh, hope you have a good weekend too, Furman, and everybody else in the group. Uh, it was great. And there's Steve. I'll see you later, Steve. Um, oh, I see. Ilgar, your uh, Internet connection was bad. I see. Okay, well, I'm glad you know, that you participated in the chat because you were part of the group, and uh, if you got to listen you know, through the video or something, that's that's great. And Nina, there's Nina. Okay, you're welcome, Nina. Always great to have you join us and uh, talk with you. It, it's interesting because as some of you participate more and more, I really feel closer with you. And uh, it's, I don't know, this video and talking through Skype, It's it's quite a nice uh, phenomenon that's happening. And even though we're not in person, I start to feel very close with you. And as the technology gets better, I'll be able to see all of you too. And you know, you you can have webcams, and I'll be able to see you. And you know, if the bandwidth is fast enough, then you know it'll it it could work quite nicely. Oh, and Barang, it was nice meeting you for the first time tonight, Barang, and. Oh, and there's Olga. I just went out for 10 minutes to drop my... Oh, that's okay. I understand. You know, if you have to leave, you know, in the middle. And I, I noticed you wrote something in the uh, chat that you had to go. And that's fine. I understand. I'm just glad that you can join. And uh, I know that things like that happen. Sound on the... Well, okay. So, Steve, you're asking about turning the sound on the video. Well, only when you're talking because it creates a problem. If you're talking with me, then you're hearing, you're hearing, you know, my voice at a delay and then you're hearing, you know, your voice at a delay. So, there's that confusion going on. But, <clears throat> you know, if you're... I mean, it really depends on what's, what's comfortable for you. Um, you know, if you're not speaking on the Skype, it might be best, you know, just to focus on the video because then everything is in sync. Then the voice and the video is in sync and there's less confusion. And then when you want to jump in and speak, then, you know, you say your name and then you can turn down the volume on the uh, video and, and then you can just go by your Skype and then it's more, you know, there's less of a delay. Skype is pretty quick for most of us. So I hope that answers your question. Um, and Bezo was great having you too, as always. And uh, thanks for all the positive comments. It's great to see the positive comments in the uh, chat. And... Uh, and seeing all these people, I'm trying to, my chat is a little small, seeing everybody that's there. And Lucy, it was great having you. I like your L, Lucy. Your L was uh, very nice and clean tonight, and I'm hearing some nice improvement there. And everybody, everybody, uh, Steve, you got to get your picture in. It looks like uh, you didn't do the picture assignment in lesson one. So, Steve, 
you know, we we want to see what you look like. <laughs> because then we, you know, it's just like being in a classroom. We feel closer to you. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a good photo. You know, it's not, like I said in the lesson, it's not a beauty contest. We just, you know, we, we just feel like we're closer to you and we know you better that way. Good night, Lucy. And good night, Olga. And good night, Irina. It was nice uh, meeting you. And uh, say hi to your husband, Tim Conway. <laughs> I keep thinking of the comedian. Uh, and you'll do it tomorrow. Okay. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds good, Steve. Good night. All right. Bye-bye. So I'm going to sign off on the video now. Uh, let's see. And that's my video. Okay. So uh, if you're watching the video uh, and you're not in the chat room, or if you are in the chat room, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm Dave Skanda of EnglishMeeting.com. What we're doing right now, EnglishMeeting.com has expanded into lessons, courses, online courses, and you can reach me through Facebook if you're interested. Uh, reach me through Dave Skanda through Facebook, and if you want to join the class, let me know, and um, you can join. So another, another broadcast is wrapped up. I'm Dave Skanda, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Now I'm trying to look to the left as I wave. I can't really. I'm doing like three things at once. Bye-bye.